Hi darlings, this is Christina and today we're going to be talking about the new Dior Glow star filter. So if you're interested, just keep watching it. Let's get into it. <laughs> So I've heard a lot of buzz about this particular here um, star filter. Now, I don't know too much about these. I have a lot of primers. I have a lot of those things. What I do not have is something like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So, you know, I never was interested in it. However, I like Dior. I like their skin products for the most part. So I thought, you know what, let me try this. I like the idea of it. I like having a little glow. I do like a little glow, like in the right places, like here and here. I have my eye makeup on. I have a little concealer, but that's it. That's all I have. I have no foundation on. I just have my sunscreen, okay? So I'm gonna do one side with it and I'll show you some swatches here. What this states it is, is a complexion enhancer that visibly brightens, smooths, and blurs the skin for complexion that's more radiant than ever. And this is supposed to be dual purpose, like many purposes. I think they said three actually. It is a multi-use that can be worn three ways on bare skin to bring out natural glow. Two, before or mix with Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation to boost radiance or applied in touches after foundation to highlight areas of the face. So it's made of 94% natural origin ingredients and infused with iris extract. So we will see about these claims, guys. Okay, let's so let me show you a little. I've already showed you swatches kind of, but I still wanna show you a little bit here on my skin. So I did order the three in, which is normally my color for Dior foundations. And they recommended you pick something um, about your tone, cause you saw that it's supposed to also be like a skin, you know, booster. So yeah, you don't wanna get something too dark unless you're wanting to like bronze is what they stated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do one side guys, okay? I don't even know if that's too much, but I want to show you two different sides of my face to see if we can see the radiance. Ooh, well, 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 well. That is definitely radiant. So this is the side without the star glow filter, or sorry, the star glow. And then this is with the star glow. I'm gonna bring you closer so you could see it. So, with the glow and without the glow. And I thought sunscreen gives you a nice little boost of radiance, but this is on a whole nother level. If I were gonna go out with my foundation and not wanna do anything, this could be like my glowy skin. And this is really pretty. There is no real scent to this. It's light. It's not as overwhelming as some of the Dior foundations. It's very light, it's very fresh smelling. It, it's not offensive to me anyway. It's not sticky. And I do wanna let you know, this does have 30 mils of product and it has a 12 month shelf life. So there are a lot of things now that are like cutting back in the shelf life. So very important that you watch these reviews before you purchase really truly because i feel like the more natural the products are the shorter the time that you have to use them is and so you're going to be wasting products if you're just purchasing everything that comes out without actually looking to see if it works for you so that's what i would say definitely be watching reviews to sift through what you think you may want to add into your makeup routine and things that will serve you no purpose just hold, hold tight on it because this stuff expires and it seems like it's expiring faster than I recall before. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. What I'm gonna do now, and I may regret this, I'm gonna use the Dior Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation. And why I'm using this is because unfortunately I did a review on this. I have not edited it or done anything with it because honestly, 
I just, this, this foundation is problematic for me. I don't enjoy using it. I feel like it's not mm, a great feel. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but it feels dry to me. And if we're talking serums, I prefer the Des Danessa Myrigs um, foundation with the serum, the serum foundation. So I'm going to try this with this nice little glow to see if it relieves the annoyance of this particular foundation and maybe I get some use out of it. It's also lighter than I thought it was going to be. And so there's that. I believe this has SPF in it. If I, if it doesn't, I'll state below that it doesn't. But anyways, I digress. I will be trying this on both sides and we will see how this looks. Okay. So I'm going to take just a little on my hand. This is, this is a pretty thick, foundation I would say so we probably don't need a lot and I try not to get too crazy with it because it you know like I said we got problems okay we don't get along so we are gonna try to work this out okay let me do it first on the side without the uh, star filter I keep calling it that but it's the star glow that's because it's so much probably like the Charlotte Tilbury and everybody keeps comparing it to it but honestly I I don't I don't know what that's like because I never tried that product also let me know what you would like to see comparisons of I don't have anything that's supposed to be like a flawless filter um, I have a lot of primers and I don't know if that necessarily is the same so I can do some comparisons of my Chanel primers. Let me know. I can do a separate little community post about it. You let me know. Okay. And once again, I will have to, you know, try this at work. I got a couple of my new shipments today. So I'm trying to film as much as I can of it so I can get to my schedule of filming my fun creative things you know my work color series that I'm working on for every day so I want to get through all my new products to get this out so I can start creating other content as well okay this is with the star filter and without hmm. with and without and supposedly it's supposed to blur imperfections and I'm curious about that. Let me see if I can see. I will review this at work. By the time this comes out, I will, you know, have some thoughts for you. And I know a lot of people have already reviewed this, so I know I'm not the first one. But I like to give my two cents about these things, but I really like it, actually. I think it's a very cool product. I think I would like this better than a lot of my Chanel primers, I think. I think this is more multi-use and actually feels like I can see the difference a little more I think I don't know what do you guys think this foundation is so I don't know dryish to me I'm not gonna powder I don't feel like I need to do it so I'm not going to do it on one of my new favorite blushes <laughs> by the time this comes out you will see that I have done a full review on the new Patrick Ta blushes and we're gonna use not too much this is a really pretty like everyday color and I'm going to refrain from using the um what is it the cream side we are just going to use the powder right now because we got a lot of hydration going on on one side of my face this is so pretty guys loving this Okay, guys, so I'm going to put on my lipstick, put these two little beauties on, my Pat McGrath and my Forever Dior Velvet. All the descriptions of what I wear are always on the in the links below, so always look at the description if you're interested, but I'll be right back to give my final thoughts because my battery's about to die, so let me charge it really quick too. Okay, BRB. Hey, darling, so this is the side with the Star Glow. And this is the side without. I don't know. Do you guys notice a difference? I feel like it may be slightly glowier. Okay. As I'm looking at myself, yeah, it's definitely glowier. Okay. Yeah. 
I definitely probably now, because I did spray a little finishing spray and it really enhanced that glow. Ooh, that's really pretty actually. Okay, so I did, while I was putting on my lipstick, I realized that I did, oh, also I did put a little bit of the cream just on the tips here. I have a thing, I love to see a little glow right along my cheekbones. So I did put that from the Patrick Ta, just so you know, just a little pop up right there. Anyways, I wanted to compare the Gucci Illuminating Drops because I realized this is also a multi-use illuminator. And if you look at them, they're very similar. The Gucci is a little bit darker in color, but they're very similar in what they kind of look like. So let me give you a comparison here. This is the Glow Filts, the Star Filter, and the Gucci Illuminating Drops because you're supposed to be able to use this underneath as well. So I just wanna see if you can see the difference, the Gucci here and the star here. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so the star definitely is, the Dior star is definitely more radiant. This is more radiant and the Gucci is really pretty but I think it has a little more like particles or it's a little when I'm looking at it on my hand I can see like it picking up more dry patches than the star filter so I don't know if you can tell the difference of the glow but I see it just reflects differently just slightly ever so slightly it's very minute but what I'll also do is put a little bit of the Gucci drops here over top, and then I will put a little more, right? Just gonna give you a little more. We'll do the star filter, the star glow. Or is that star? Star filter, got it. I'm gonna have to really work on my, my names. I just want to see how it illuminates. It may illuminate the same. That's very similar on top of, on top of the blush. Went a little more. So you see here, that's the Dior, and this is the Gucci. Honestly, over top of everything, it's hard to see the difference. Really, oh my except that you know the radiance shows through underneath my foundation i think this is going to make me like this foundation a lot more because it was always so dry and now this feels very hydrating even though the color is not like my favorite darling so so far so good i really like it i really want to test out that 24 hour hydration promise <laughs> I'm sure it's not 24 hours and who really tests it for 24 hours? That means you'd be sleeping in it, but I can at least test it for 12 to 14 hours. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see how my skin feels and looks throughout the day when I wear it to work. But overall, I really like it. I've never had anything like this um, aside from the Gucci, but I felt like I would never put that all over my face. The, the texture is even a little different. Um, the star filter is softer. It, it almost is like a serum. The Gucci feels a little bit more like a highlighter. But anyway, darlings, tell me what you think. Do you like it? Are you interested? Let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day, a beautiful week, and I will catch you in the next one.